Hey guys, it's Spike with the Pagan Vlogs, and um, I thought I'd share something uh, with you guys. And um, as many of you know, I love crystals. Uh, crystals are one of my favorite things. So, I got one of those, have you ever seen, like, if you go to a Walmart or a Kmart or something, you ever seen those little fountains you can buy? Um, you know, they just, they're the running fountains, and uh, they're just little fountains meant for a desk. Well, I... Normally they have like river rocks in them or something, but I got one, and I filled it all around with crystals. And if you look inside the little things, uh, you can barely, barely see it. But I have a bunch of little uh, crystal chips in the bottom too. And in the top, I leave it empty because that's where the water uh, comes up and goes down. You can hear it kind of running. You can hear it. Um, this runs on batteries, the one I have now. I got it from Walmart for 5 bucks. It runs on batteries, and it... Uh, I use rechargeable batteries, though, because I don't like paying for a lot for the batteries, and I don't like... Uh, I don't like how wasteful batteries are, so I figure I'll go for uh, rechargeable batteries. Again, I'm still using electricity, but I feel like it's better to, you know, plug a light in than use a battery for anything, because batteries are wasteful. So I figure rechargeable batteries are not wasteful, so I go with those. Um, and I thought about, you know, what this is for. You know, it creates wonderful crystal water. So for blessing, you know, with crystal water. Um, and so all the crystal energy surrounding this water and, and the fact that it's to, it goes to the ends and it goes through and down. So it's really catching a lot of crystal energy going through this. It's really getting a lot of crystal energy in it. And also, I'm using the top right now. And right now I'm cleansing this ring, which I found in the shed, and it was tiger, tiger eye. So I figured, you know, I don't know why, but it seems really powerful to me this ring. So I want it, I don't know if I'm going to put it on a necklace or wear it on my finger because it's a little big on me. But right now, I'm cleansing it in the top one. You just got to be careful not to block the flow of water. That's why I don't put a bunch of the little, uh, little rocks. They like to move around and some of them like to go down to the bottom part too. But, um, yeah. And some suggest so some suggestions are if you want to purify something, crystal water is wonderful to do that. And fountains with crystals is just... I don't know, it's just so serene, and, and, and but it's got such an energy to it. It's, like, serene, yet it has, like, such a beautiful, calming and energy. And I use all kinds of crystals because, I mean, I'm, I'm just crazy like that. You know, I don't just use one kind, but you could do that, too. Also, um, I know you guys know about elixirs, but if you don't want to... You know, I'm sure there are some fountains that don't use battery, or they might be electric... Um, or if you like more natural materials besides plastic, because that's what mine's made out of, is mostly like plastic and stuff. Um, but some people, you know, like things more natural. Um, if I had a bigger wallet, maybe I would, too, you know, be more into having things natural. Uh, but I'm not too picky myself. Um, but another thought is if you don't want to have a fountain or you don't want to mess with all that you could just have a bowl of water and just put all kinds of crystals in there and I think that would be beautiful and um have you ever seen those things where people have a can like they have a plate then they have a candle with all kinds of rocks around it or like usually it's river rocks around it why not try that with crystals why not try having that with crystals another idea I've had and I've done this before even though I don't have it now is if you want to make a little home Zen garden. And instead of using rocks in the garden, you use crystals. Uh, I used to have a Zen garden I made for myself, and um, at one point I had a crystal free element in there. Um, and at another point, I had um, that with the seven chakra stones in in the sand. And um, I think either one of those ideas would work or anything else you wanted to do and I gotta tell you a, a fountain uh, the candle idea the Zen garden idea all these sort of Eastern ideas um, 
but these are more accepted. Like East, like Eastern spirituality is more accepted than um, than things that are more witchy. But they are witchy. Eastern spirituality can be witchy. Um, so I don't know. It's what I'm saying is it's easy to find these things. You know, they'll. Uh, it's easy to find Eastern sort of designs or these things are just considered to be something you can find at some cheap store and you can uh, you know have it in your house it's not considered to be some luxury item or some new age metaphysical gotta go to a new age store to get it because um, not everyone has that opportunity so I mean get sort of those zen items and, and just kind of witch them up you know what I mean I'm not saying don't I'm not opposing Zen by any means. I love Zen. I respect Zen so much. I'm just saying, find some of those... Um, I'm not saying they're pseudo-spiritual, but like they're marketed sort of in a half-spiritual way, but they're sold at any store. You know, the, the peaceful sort of stuff. Get that sort of stuff and you know use it and sort of adapt it. Um, to have more meaning to you and really to have more because sometimes they seem a little false like this fountain itself with just a few rocks I mean it felt a little false but once I put all those crystals in there like I'm just like you know that's the shit I only spent five bucks on it I've got a few rocks I don't know what I'm going to do with them but um, you know it's like I, I have this now I have this um, beautiful thing and, and yeah, so I just thought of an idea. Uh, so maybe get one of those $5, $10 fountains, uh, candle things, whatever you want to do. Go to your local Walmart, Kmart, Target, wherever you like to go and, uh, and see what they got or just find whatever you have in the house and uh, create something. And you don't have to use crystals. If you'd rather just use rocks, uh, river rocks, Go to the dollar store and get get a get a bag of river rocks or two. Uh, it's not going to cost you a lot of money if you go to the go to the dollar store and get some river rocks. Um, I wouldn't recommend going to your local New Age store unless you really feel like you really want to support them. Um, I would recommend just going to a dollar store because uh, that's something you can. If it's something you can only get at a New Age store, get it at a New Age store. If it's something that uh that would cost the same anywhere, like New Age store or bookstore, then yeah, you know, support your local New Age store. I, I'm all for it, 100%. But some people, you know, that's just not an option. And for some people, their prices, they got to put them higher because a lot of times, they're local businesses. They have to put their prices a little higher. Some of them try to rip people off, but most of them, it's like they just have to, uh, they have to keep their prices like that so they can stay in business so you know support them when you can but understand you know that you don't always have to go to your local new age store this could have this could all be done you could get like a fountain you could get river rocks you can whatever and all kinds of spiritual items you know the, and cool things you can make and you don't have to go to a new age store to get it you don't have to go anywhere to get it you just only spend a few dollars and just have this wonderful creation and do it yourself with what you have and it'll just be something beautiful that'll uh, really create a wonderful energy. So I know that I'm kind of rambling on, but um, but I just thought I'd show you guys, um, show you guys my little creation. And I don't know. Do you think? I think the ring is just about ready. I haven't really done anything with it, but there. How's it look? A little big on me, but I like it. So, um, thank you all for watching, and blessed be. Better, guys.